All right, so this is going to be a Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and Cancer Rising, a weekly love tarot reading, relationship tarot reading, December 23rd to December 29th, a 2019. And uh, while I'm shuffling the tarot cards, guys, if you do want to get in touch with me for a uh, personal reading or um, you want to have a look at your um, career tarot reading for the, that very same week, you can check the description down below and there you're gonna find link both for my website and as well for the uh, uh, career video. So the very first card which represents the topic of your relationship life or throughout this week is going to be the Seven of Pentacles, followed by the second one which is the uh, energies that are supporting the topic that is going to be the uh, Judgment card. Followed by the third one, which represents the challenges that you need to stand against here. And we do have a person of the Queen of Wands. Afterwards, it is the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy for throughout this week relationship-wise. That is going to be the Ten of Cups. Afterwards, it is how others sees you, how your partner sees you, how your wife or husband sees you, how your person of interest sees you. That is going to be the Queen of Pentacles. Followed by the other card here, which represents um, what can help your long-term goal. That is the Page of Pentacles. Afterwards, it is what can hurt your long-term goal. That is going to be the Page of Cups. And the final card, it is the guidance that Taro is offering to you. We do have the um, Five of Pentacles. So quite of a crowded week uh, for you, Cancer. Now. Uh, we do have uh, these two uh, very broad cards, to be honest, especially with uh, the uh, Judgment card here, which are the energy supporting the Seven of Pentacles. So this week, uh, you guys, it doesn't look like that you're going to take any major moves toward pers your person of interest or toward your partner in general, because it looks like that this week itself is going to be a week where you are going to try to reach... I would say either enlightenment or to figure out a certain thing. For example, to figure out, do I love that person or do I not love, or do I not love that person? Is this person for me or is this person not for me? So what, the, what those two cards are pointing, it is that the, this week is going to be a week where you will try to uh, analyze and as well anticipate your next move in a such a way and fashion in regards to relationship that the move it is not wrong move because with the seven of pentacles uh, there is a very big chance that you may um, stifle future relationship or current relationship or you may underperform in it and so you will try to find the right moves for it. Now, another thing how these two cards could be interpreted as well in regards to relationship and especially for those who have severe troubles in there, it is that a solution to your difficulties is going to be found. It's, it's spiritually is going to pop up in front of your sight, um, but you're going to keep quiet for it at least for now until you find the right way to uh, execute the solution uh, itself okay so the next card here represents the challenges that you need to stand against and we do have a person now the queen of wands by its nature is someone who knows you very very well and this person knows how to simply swipe you off balance you know how to irritate you how to aggravate you how to hurt you in general so that person it's, um, how can I say it? It's a very, not, it could be jealous, it could be envy, envious as well, but that person thinks the most out of itself. What I mean is that simply that person thinks that he or she is simply better than you are and he or she deserves what you want. So in general, we do have someone that wants what you have, okay? or does not want you to have what they have while you do have the chance to do it with the very first two cards. You know, you have the solution of how to get that and obviously they will make their, uh, their stand. So how you overcome the Queen of Wands? Well, there is no good way to do so. I mean, you just have to challenge her, okay? You need to make yourself... Um, 
displayed, if you will, and to basically address the challenge toward, uh, toward that person or to make yourself known, okay? So the other card here, it is the gifts and the blessings. And uh, we do have the gifts and the blessings of the Ten of Cups. Needless to say, this is the week where your relationship life, all, either all of a sudden or slowly progressing, is going to start have its worth. Okay, so this is a, a week where you're going to, uh, when, you, when you're going to most likely uh, hear, I love you, I want to be with you, all right? I have interest in you, I have um, feelings for you, and so on and so forth. So that particular card here as the gift and blessings, you will find out that you are loved, that you are cherished, that someone um, counts on you, and sees you as a good match, as a good partner, and etc., uh, etc. Et now, the Ten of Cups, it is the card where uh, you will kind of like um, over overflow with a uh, emotional stability. But additionally to that, it is a, a card pointing that there is a still room to grow, especially as a gifts and blessings, because uh, it does refer to the human nature that the it doesn't matter how much you have as an emotional fulfillment, you do want more and more is available for you only if you, however, can overcome the challenge of the Queen of Wands. Now that I think of the Queen of Wands, you know, could be, for example, the mother of your uh, boyfriend, let's say, that does not like you at all and is trying to do whatever she can to split you apart and you need to address that, okay? You need to stand against her. You need to simply confront her because otherwise she ain't gonna stop. So the other card here is how other people sees you, how your partner sees you, how your husband or a wife, you know, how your person of interest. And that is the Queen of Pentacles. So first of all, they see you as a quite sort of a uh, self-reliant kind of a person, someone who achieved um, what they have on their own accord. Additionally to that, they see you as a, um, it's very difficult to describe it, as a uh, person who uh, have well-established life, okay? And finally, they see you as a, someone whose potential it is yet to be discovered, right? So that person, these people, the people that are seeing you in that light, they, um, they are yet to be more and more interested in you. Okay, your your um, um, partner, for example, is yet to be more and more interested in you and is yet to develop further emotions towards you. Your person of interest is yet to show a further interest in you or your husband or a wife. It is yet to fall even deeper in love with you. So the other card here points what can help your long term goal. And we do have a, a person. All right. Another one. That is the Page of Pentacles, and that is someone who is devoted to your dedication, devoted to your idea. That is most likely a, a mutual friend of you and your partner or a person of interest, you know, or the other, the other person in this uh, uh, relationship situation, and is trying to make the things to work uh, in between you two. Okay, so um, what you can do here to help this one out, it is to invite that person closer to the relationship or to the interest that you do have even further. Now, the other card, it is um, what can hurt your long term relationship goal. And that is going to be the page of cups. That is another person. And this one is very emotionally unstable because the page of cups in the relationship um, uh, readings, they are people who desperately need to be emotionally connected. And uh, that is a, a person who um, I can't say is jealous, but is trying to consume uh, your time that you are spending with your person of interest, with your partner, or with your husband or wife for themselves, trying to uh, be on the same level, if you will, with the person you want to be with or with the person that you are with. So that is someone who wants you for themselves, uh, maybe with as well romantic interest, but may not be with a romantic interest. It's just they do have undefined emotionally attachment to you and they are kind of consumed Assuming, you know, the time that it is meant for you to stabilize your future or current relationship or marriage. And uh, 
that being said you gotta put your per that person in uh, in their place because this is someone who does not know where they stand how they stand and what they mean for you as well and you have to make it pretty clear that they take the second place uh, under you know the second place under the person of interest or your partner for that matter and the last card that we do have for you cancer is going to be the guidance the tarot is offering this is the um five of pentacles and uh, yeah you may face a certain problems and difficulties here especially uh throughout the week especially especially addressed from the uh, person of the queen of wands but uh, uh, while they are numerical, what I mean is that they are more than just one, they are not that big that cannot be overcome. And uh, the Five of Pentacles here urges you to um, involve the other side into the matter as well. What I mean is that if we are following the example here of that the mother of your uh, boyfriend does not like you, involve your boyfriend into the matter as well while you are confronting her right or if this is a third party let's say someone is trying to hit on your wife well involve your wife into it as well confront that person with your wife as well so you have to involve you know the other person because we do have two people here dealing with the misfortune dealing with the instability that has been caused by the queen of wands herself but above everything else you know um before you find the right solution as the topic and the energies are suggesting here you should not make any decisive moves because um and it is a, a point of either make it or break it and you don't want to rush it out you want to make it um or kind of like you want to take that decision, make it or break it in a way that you're not going to regret it moving on forward into the future. So that being said, Cancer, this was your weekly relationship tarot reading. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And if you do want to get in touch with me for a personal reading, you can check out the description down below. And there you will also going to find, apart from my website link, also a link to your a career tarot reading for that very same week. And um, until then, bye.